Hi you guys, Regina here. In today's video is a cleaning marathon. There is over an hour of cleaning motivation just for you. So go ahead and get your list together. Put this on your cell phones, your tablets, or your TV. And get up and clean with me. Hello, hello, hello my loves. Welcome back to my channel. It is Rona Cole here and I am back with another cleaning video. Today's video is me tackling some things that I have been putting off for quite a while. No particular reason, just out of pure laziness. So if you would like to clean along with me, keep watching. I'm gonna start in the dining room by cleaning my windows. I think I've done this once since we've been in this house. Don't judge me, y'all. <laughs> so I started off cleaning it with a glass spray and a squeegee. Now this did not work well because there were spots on the windows that actually needed to be scrubbed. Uh, and it was also a little messy. Now this works well, the squeegee works well in the shower, but not so well on the windows. So then I decided to go in with my microfiber cloth that I got from Dollar Tree. It worked okay, but it left a lot of product still on the window. So yeah, that didn't work that great either. So then I decided to go in with a regular towel just to get the remaining product off the window. So now I'm just going to go in and clean off this table.
last DIY I posted was the Glitter Z Gallery dupe. And I used Mod Podge. Y'all, I did not protect my table. And it's Mod Podge and glitter still stuck on here. So now I'm just going in with my Dyson and vacuuming the floor and the rug. So the shoe cabinet is from Ikea and I just changed out the knobs to those crystal knobs. I got those from HomeGoods. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. This window was really dirty. I do not know why. And also there were like at least 30 dead flies when I lifted up the blinds. It was so gross, y'all. These blinds did not want to cooperate and they are heavy as heck. Oh, 
Y'all have probably seen Caleb in every cleaning video that I've posted unless he's asleep. He is my little shadow. <laughs> he is everywhere. We have had this sofa um, for at least two years, and I don't think I've ever vacuumed it. cushions did not come out of these seats that lets you know how often I actually clean and vacuum them As you can see, Caleb is the reason I had to clean this table in the first place. He climbs on top of it. He takes his cup and drips juice and milk on it. He will not let me be great. So I decided to incorporate a few little pumpkins I got from Dollar Tree. I think I'm gonna decorate a tiny bit for fall this year.
this is the Dyson Absolute V8. So it has a separate attachment for the hardwood. So of course I just took that off and put on the other attachment to clean the rug. Well, vacuum the rug. By the time I got to the last window, I remembered that these windows actually fold inward so you can clean them. I was like, oh my god, really? to this huge sectional y'all this sectional has so many cheerios broken crackers small toys um gum everything you could think of was under these cushions
So of course, while I am cleaning, the kids think it's the perfect opportunity to jump and play on the couch. I decided to go ahead and take the cushion covers off so I could throw them in the washing machine and wash them. like that my dice and die and there goes Christian and Caleb y'all they so disrespectful to my cleaning process Walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town.
Of course, it wouldn't be a clean with me video if Caleb didn't knock down my camera. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference washing the cushions make. The left cushion is the one that I washed and the right one is the one that was left on. And there is a drastic difference between the two. And here is a look at the pillows, the back pillows. The one on the left is the one that was washed and the one on the right is the one that wasn't washed. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Searching for a longer day. Hello, 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 my loves. Welcome back to my channel. It is Rona Cole here, back with another cleaning video. Today I will be cleaning my master bathroom. It was an absolute mess. So if you want to clean along with me, keep watching. Before we get into this video, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, to everyone who comments and likes these videos. Everybody always leaves positive messages and I thank you so very much. So this video will not have a voiceover, it will just be music. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in the next one.
sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strive Savannah I'm coming
Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Rona Cole here and I am back with another cleaning video. Today's video is a nighttime clean with me. As you guys know, I am a working mama and most of my cleaning is done at night or on the weekends. If you guys like what you see in this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn on those notification bells so you are notified every time I upload a video. And don't be scared to show some love by hitting that like button, girl. So, let's hop right into this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.
Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Ro Nicole here, back with another cleaning video. If this is your first time here, hey, girl. I film a mixture of cleaning videos, DIYs, and home decor. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on those notification bells so you are notified every time I post a video. So in today's video, I am cleaning up the kids' bathroom. So usually the two older kids who are 12 and 6 clean, quotation marks, this bathroom. But I like to go in ever so often and actually deep clean it myself. So I'm going to start by cleaning off the countertops. And y'all, it was so much toothpaste in these sinks. It was ridiculous. So I am using the Lysol Hibiscus and Mango Bathroom Cleaner to wipe down the countertops of uh, pretty much everything in the bathroom and it smells really good you guys. I like to use a good disinfectant to clean the bathrooms especially these boys bathrooms because y'all know boys. So if you have watched my previous videos, you guys know the drill. I like to spray down everything first, let it kind of sit, and then go back and start cleaning and wiping everything down. Shadow through the sun rays and on and on 
this dress to work all day and nobody told me that my belt was twisted. I am definitely one of those people who likes to know when they are out here looking crazy. They just look gross to me and I just have to get rid of them.
this is the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Town to town, from London to Taiwan, I've been all around the globe trying to protect yours. Hey, you, I saw you from the distance. Hello, 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 my loves, and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Rona Cole here, and of course, I am back with another cleaning video. Today's video is a Sunday cleanup. I'm tackling a few things in our master bedroom. If you are new here, hey girl, I am a working mom, and I post a variety of videos from Clean With Me's DIYs and lifestyle. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn on those notification bells so you are notified every time I upload a video. So of course we are going to start with the bed, taking off these old sheets and putting on some fresh new ones, or so I thought. Turns out these sheets were clean but they had that sour smell from not drying completely. So those had to come off as well and off to the washing machine I went. So I had completely forgot that I had already put a small load of whites in the washing machine. So I went ahead and washed those first. Using Tyrus Wash Clothes, I'm adding vinegar to the fabric softener compartment and I am adding bleach. So before I had baby number two, I used to be really into couponing and I had a huge stockpile of laundry detergent. I have not couponed in at least a year and a half and I still have about six to eight bottles of laundry detergent left. I really need to get back into it but y'all coupon is like a second job all by itself. So now I'm just going to grab the rest of the dirty sheets and any other white towels or socks that I need to go ahead and throw in the washing machine. daily wood cleaner to wipe down and dust off this nightstand. And this is the spot where I usually find all of my long lost earrings. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I'm gonna take that same daily wood cleaner and wipe down the dresser and my husband's nice thing. us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And And if you are wondering what I was watching, I was watching the show Secession, and I believe it comes on HBO. Secession and Power are my Sunday shows.
this one will make a change container out of anything I pulled this watch um, container out of his nightstand and I was wondering why it was so heavy and it was full of change we'll go through the wastelands through the highways till my shadow turns to sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the highways and on Not so much. We'll grow in number, fueled by them to see the horizon turn us to thousands. And we'll grow in number, fueled by them to see the horizon turn us to I have to vacuum the carpet and also decide to vacuum our headboard that was not working that well so I decided to scratch the whole idea maybe another day
So as I was putting on my comforter, I noticed they had a weird stain on there, so I decided to go ahead and wash that. Might as well have a clean comforter with clean sheets. That first load of clothes that I washed is now dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold those. So what do you guys do with your old towels? I usually use mine to clean up spills, clean up after the kids when they get sick, or dry the dog. I decided to scratch the whole idea. Maybe another day. I am ending the night by vacuuming the hallway and of course picking up things as I go. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.